Hi, I'm Karen Hurd, and I'm here with our next edition of Asking for a Friend. Karen, what are the important questions that leaders should be asking themselves and their teams right now? And I thought this is a great one for my friend, Bob Tidi, because he is he runs a wonderful blog called Leading with Questions. And so he is the question guy. So Bob, what would you say to this question? Karen, I love the question. And, and recently I overheard a question one of my crew colleagues had asked his team uh, on a Zoom call. So picture this. He's got his whole team on a Zoom call. Of course, that's easy to picture because we've all been doing that with our teams. And he said, you know, just imagine for a moment your team on Zoom and, and picture where they're at in their household. You, you may even see one of them's on a card table in a walk-in closet because that's the only place they could get isolated. You may see them in a back bedroom or maybe a spare bedroom or, or maybe they're working from the kitchen table, but wherever they're at, picture them. And Mark, as he was with his whole team, he asked this question. When you walk out that door, and sometimes on Zoom, you could actually see the door, the, the door from the bedroom that leads to the rest of the house or that closet that leads to the rest of the house. And he said, when you walk out that door, what are you walking into? Mm. And it was like, he said his, his team just, well, they begin to answer. And, uh, you know, we can think of the pandemic and working from home as being the crisis, but people are experiencing many other crises. And, and when you walk out that door, maybe uh, a team member is experiencing a challenging spouse. Yeah. Or, or maybe they're experiencing a child care crisis, meaning they got a little one, two or three, that they're bouncing on their knee and trying to type and stay connected at the same time because child care, where that child normally goes, is closed. Or maybe it's an education crisis. They never intended to be a homeschool parent. And, and yes, their school online, but their kids need lots of, of interaction and direction and encouragement. And... Um, or maybe the spouse lost their job and there's a financial crisis or maybe in the extended family, they've got elderly parents or, or a friend, a relative that is sick with the virus or maybe they've even lost a loved one in this time. And Mark said there was something about just asking that allowed the team to connect with one another at another level. And Karen, on one hand, sharing that with the others didn't, didn't change the crises they might be facing, but somehow it lightened the load. Just the fact that they could be real with each other. And, and they left that meeting, Mark said, sensing that I'm on a great team. We care for one another. Uh, Mark, my leader, understands that there's a lot going on in my life. Uh, besides just working remotely. And so, Karen, again, that question that I wrote down and, and have been using is when you walk out that door, what are you walking into? Oh, Bob, that is so powerful. And, you know, we're finding that too as we're working with teams, just giving people the space, right, to be real and be vulnerable, and particularly as a leader, to be able to show up and show that. You've got issues too. I, I, that is what seems to be really creating trust is to not having to show up perfect every time. And I love that question. I think that's absolutely great. Thank you so very much for spending some time with us today on Asking for a Friend. My pleasure.